is there a, a rough guide, could you say, for the suitable proportion of far red in a grow light, in particular for growing cannabis? We usually recommend far red photons in the beginning because you want the plant to expand and, and fill in. If we had far red photons, the petioles expand, the leaves expand, the plant fills in. A photon that hits the ground is wasted completely. And no matter how efficient it was to produce, it's wasted. So we want to capture those photons as quickly as possible. And far red can certainly, it does promote that. Not just, not just the height going up, but the expansion sideways. Um, so we can precision apply far red photons early in growth. And then when we want to keep the plants short, we just turn them off. And then we can reapply them in the last, at the end of the life cycle to take advantage of their high efficiency. Um, so it, the timing is important of when we put in far red photons. I, I wouldn't recommend just a blanket um, distribution of photons. We want to use them early in the life cycle and late in the life cycle.